right, we're on this diesel here, and we're uh, the International. So there was no blow up. The blower just went. Oh no, it's here again. The blower's going, and it went down. Something's wrong with the blower. This fuse was uh, blown, and this blower was off. There was nothing coming out of the dash. Right now, the blower is going off and on, off and on. I'm waiting for their, these are resettable circuit breakers. So instead of these little minis, oh, it's getting hot. I'm gonna turn it off, I don't wanna mess it up. Let's, let's kill it. Okay, I just killed it. Kill everything else. Okay, definitely this is burning hot. So the blower's drawing too many amps and uh, I'll have them check the blower. I, I have a, a mobile truck mechanic over here I've known for 30 years and um, this is his gig, but he calls me out here on the ACs. That, that's how I get all the ACs on the big trucks. Oh, and that was the idle off because we're in California. I wonder if they do that national now. I'll just turn it off, it's not needed. Um, so the amp draw is probably too much on this because of the blower. And um, yeah, that's about it. So I'm about done here. I'll check the AC charge, pull it out. I'll weigh it, see how much it's down. And, uh, and then have him double check this blower motor. Probably one of, if you go and you check and turn and measure the resistance across each armature off uh, every section as you turn it, you'll go, 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 and then you'll probably find a section that's shorted out. So as it's spinning, and there's probably an area where you could try to start it up and you, when you have the brushes touching at the one point, it'll hit a dead area and it just won't start. And it'll probably just blow the fuse immediately. So it's starting every time when it has rotated in that one section where it could start. But when it hits the shorted out section, it'll probably uh, blow this. And because it spins so fast, the shorted out section for a fraction of a second draws a high amp peak. So if you put a lab scope on this and you're looking at your sine wave and you'll, you're looking at the sections as the motors, you'll and you look at the amp draw, you'll see this one area where the amp draw is up normally in a sine wave and you'll have one section of the armature that's shorted and you'll see this amp draw spike and that's what's probably going on here when you look use a lab scope and lab scopes are really good things to picky they have little handheld cheap ones too and i've been wanting to buy one of the real cheap ones instead of my expensive one to bring out on jobs just uh, something i could throw around and uh play with you guys more instead of uh risking my expensive bigger one so yeah, we have massive amp draw right here. All right, I'll see you guys.